Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss some art examples and how they can be created using Polygon and Star Tools. To learn about the basics of this tool, refer to this video its link is in the description and the i button. So, let's get started. Starting with the Polygon first. I have created these examples using the Polygon tool. We will discuss each art how is created. Let's start with this one. By default, Polygon corners are 5. Select any color from the bottom. Let's say I select this green. Now, left click, drag and draw a big polygon like this. For the next step, we will create a duplicate of this polygon by using this icon or simply press Ctrl D and change its color to white. Now switch to the selection tool with the spacebar, click again and rotate it a little bit. Click again and resize while holding the Ctrl and Shift key. Right about there. Again repeat the process. Duplicate it with Ctrl D. Change color to green again. Left click, rotate. Click again. Resize while holding the Ctrl and Shift key. Again, duplicate. Change color to white. Left click, rotate. Click again, resize while holding the control and shift key. And again the step will be repeated, and there you go this same pattern will be created. Moving to this next example. In this, more than 5 corners are used and corners are also rounded. So let's create this. First select a color, like this red one. Left click, drag and draw a big polygon like this. In the corners, increase the number of corners to 12. Now hold shift and drag the handle like this. Right about there. Now, you see it looks just like this flower, only a circle in the center is missing. So for this, we will select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Change its color. Now place it in the middle. Just like that. So a flower is created just using the polygon tool. Next is also a flower. It is similar to this one in creation. Here also, more than 5 corners are used and corners are also rounded. In corners, increase the number of corners to 7 or 8. Now hold shift and drag the handle like this. It's perfect here. Now the next part, duplicate it with Ctrl D, change color to a lighter red. Switch to the selection tool with the spacebar. Now resize it while holding the Ctrl and Shift key. Repeat the process again. Duplicate. Change color to dark red. Resize while holding the Ctrl and Shift key. Again, duplicate. Change color to light red. Resize while holding the Ctrl and Shift key. After fourth repetition, it will look like this. Now, it's looking similar, only a circle in the center is missing. So for this, we will select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Change its color. Now place it in the middle. Just like that. So another flower is created using the polygon tool. Now moving forward to these two examples. These two examples are the same, the only difference is that their color scheme is different. So let's create this. First select a color, like this orange one. Left click, drag and draw a big polygon like this. In corners, increase the number of corners to 8. Now hold shift and drag the handle like this. Right about there. 
Now this pattern is created. Behind this there is a circle, so we will create a circle with the ellipse tool. Like this. Change color to black. Switch to the selection tool with the spacebar. Place it in the middle of this pattern. Scale it while holding control and shift to cover it whole. Now send it to the bottom with the end key or using this button. There, it will look like this. Select both. Go to the object tab and select a line and distribute. Here click center on the vertical axis and horizontal axis, so these two are now in the center. Select the circle and duplicate it with Ctrl D. Change the color to orange and resize it while holding Ctrl and Shift. Now we will repeat the process by creating duplicates and inverting the colors. Select this pattern and middle circle. Duplicate it. Change color to black and resize it while holding Ctrl and Shift. Align in the center if needed. Again while the pattern and circle are selected, duplicate them. Change color to orange and resize it while holding Ctrl and Shift. Align in the center if needed. There you go, your same pattern is created. This one is also the same with different color combinations. Like if I choose these blue shades and recolor all of them one by one. Now you see the same pattern is achieved. So this is another way to create multiple revisions from the same design using just color fill and strokes. Let's discuss the star shape example. I have created these examples using the star tool. We will discuss each art how is created. Let's start with this one. This one is the simplest art that is a gear. First choose a gray color, like this one. Left click, drag, and draw a big star like this. In corners, increase the number of corners up to 15. Numbers can vary no worries. Hold Ctrl and adjust the base radius of the star. Hold Shift to make edges rounded like this. Adjust base radius again. Right there. Now your gear is ready, only a circle in between is missing. So for this select ellipse tool, draw a circle with the color white and place it in the center. So gears like this one or even of other types can be created easily using a star. Next is a wheel example. For this, first choose a dark gray color, like this one. Left click, drag, and draw a big star like this. In corners, increase the number of corners up to 20. Hold control and adjust the base radius of the star. Now, twist the star without holding the control. Hold shift to make edges rounded like this. Adjust the base radius again. Now the pattern is created. Duplicate this and change its color to one lighter shade of gray. Switch to the selection tool with the spacebar and rotate it. Like this. The wheel is ready, its hole is missing. So for this select ellipse tool, draw a circle with dark gray and place it in the center. Use align adjustments if needed. Duplicate it, this time make it white and resize it. Just like that. So you can create wheels of different kinds very easily using the star. Next is a flower. It is also very easy. Let's draw this. Choose a light color, like this one. 
Left click, drag, and draw a big star like this. In corners, increase the number of corners up to 12. Twist the star without holding control. Like this. Now, hold shift to make the edges rounded like this. Adjust the base radius again if needed. You see our base pattern is created. Duplicate this and change its color to one darker shade. Switch to the selection tool with the spacebar and rotate it. Like this. Send it back with this button or press the end key. Again duplicate. Change color to a darker shade. Rotate it. And send this also to the back of both. Now for the center, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Change its color. Now place it in the middle. Just like that. So a flower is created just using a star. The next one is also a flower pattern, and it is the easiest one. Left click, drag, and draw a big star like this. In corners, increase the number of corners up to 10. Hold shift and make edges round like this. Now, hold control and change the base radius like this. And there you go most easy flower pattern is created. Moving forward to the fan example. Left click, drag and draw a big star like this. Adjust the base radius and twist a bit. Hold shift and make edges round. Adjust rounded and spoke until happy with the fan shape. Now for the center, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Now place it in the middle. Just like that. So a fan with five fins is created. Last but not the least, is the vector shape of a virus more likely an illustration of the coronavirus? Let's draw this using star. Choose this color. Left click, drag and draw a big star like this. In corners, increase the number of corners up to 8. Now, hold shift to make the edges rounded like this. Now, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle with the same color. Place it in the middle and resize it accordingly. Now for the white spots, select the white color, and using the ellipse tool draw a few ellipses of different sizes, so it gives more feel of a virus. You can create many more shapes and objects using polygon and star tool. Its different functions give you the freedom to play and create something new just in seconds. That was all for the polygon and star tool related examples. To learn about the basics of this tool, refer to this video, its link is in the description and the i button. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comment section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.